you know, glucose auto-oxidation produces very, very potent free radicals. Um, you can think of it almost as rancid sugar uh, as our body metabolizes stuff. And you all are familiar with the Maillard reaction, right? So that's the thing that happens when you put a bunch of dough and you put it in a pan and you stick it in an oven at about 350 degrees, right? So something magical happens, right? This brown thing forms on the top. That's called the Maillard reaction, and it's really a caramelization. And what you're doing there is really producing these advanced glycosylated end products, or AGEs. AGEs bind to age receptors called RAGEs, and by doing so, then they upregulate the production of pro-inflammatory cytokines and adhesion factors. And, and all of this is NF kappa B mediated, and we've talked about this before in other webinars, but that is really the beginning of the cascade, and guess what is responsible for turning on that F NF kappa B? It's norepinephrine, yeah. And remember, too, that hyperglycemia induces COX-2 activity, which, again, is going to increase inflammatory prostaglandins. So you really are going around. Remember, when we talk about hemoglobin A1C, we're talking about glycosylated hemoglobin. So we're really talking about having a bunch of crusty uh, proteins in our bodies, if you think about it that way. And I think that explains a lot of the stuff that goes on with aging. But here's kind of what those things look like in a more graphic representation. This, this one here is collagen that's being glycosylated, um, and you have the... Uh, Amadori products and these shift bases and those types of things that you that bring back horrors and nightmares from biochemistry, right? 